They'd spent a cold night in no man's land, waiting to cross the border between Greece and Macedonia. But their passage was blocked by riot police. Rocks were thrown, then this. Smoke filling the air, with police using stun grenades to try to keep people out. In the ensuing chaos, there was panic. Most refugees here have escaped conflict, and few would have expected this. They shoot us today. They shoot us today. I can't, I can't tell you. I can't. I see it. Later, more frustration and fear as numbers built up at the border. It was open for a short time and then quickly closed again, leaving the crowd desperate to be allowed through. But the heat and the crush was too much for some. Tens of thousands of people have crossed through Macedonia's borders heading north during the last month. Too many, say the authorities, who've declared a state of emergency in two border regions. The local train station is a transit point for many. Most want to try to reach Serbia, Hungary, then other parts of Europe. While the border is still being so closely guarded, many will have to stay and wait wherever they can on the Greek side. There are hundreds of vulnerable persons, children, babies, other persons with, with, with extreme vulnerabilities, including medical needs. Most of them, if not all of them, stay rough in the open air. We do appeal to the Greek authorities to take all necessary measures to address the humanitarian needs of the persons gathered on the borderline. Macedonia says it will allow refugees to enter in numbers it can cope and care for. But by bolstering its borders, the country may create a backlog. A backlog of desperate men, women and children unsure where they can go next knowing they can't go home. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.